from Food War Season 3 to a potential Berserk Season 3, and permanent residency in Japan for animators, I'm your host, Anime Sam, and this is Any News. What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Any News. And yes, you did hear me right, it was almost out of nowhere, but it did get confirmed in this year's 30th issue of Weekly Shonen Jump. We're getting another season of Food Port, I, I, I sorry, I mean Food Wars. So the season will be called Shokugeki no Soma San no Nara, aka The Third Plate. We also got this visual showcasing three new characters, which if you haven't read the manga, they're Azami no Kiri, who is Erina's dad, Eiichi Tsukasa, who is the first seed, and Rindo Kobayashi, who is the second seed. As someone who's been reading the manga religiously, this is pretty great news. If you guys haven't watched the show already, then I'd highly recommend it, it's really good. Like just think, why else would a show about cooking get a third season if it wasn't a good show, right? So it's expected to drop this fall, which is great because it's only a few months away. Now moving on to the new previews for today, first up I've got a full length preview for the show 18 If, which up until now has remained a complete mystery. It's based on a puzzle mystery mobile and VR game, but this trailer doesn't do much to show people who haven't played the game what it's about. But from what I can tell, we have the protagonist who gets sent to a Wonderland type world. And you can tell when he's there because of the way that they animate his character, it's much more western like, almost as if it's a Disney animator that did it. And that may be a pretty interesting aspect of the show, combining different animation techniques. Next up is the trailer for New Game Season 2. It's a direct continuation of the first season, which in case you didn't already know, it follows the story of a bunch of game makers. So if you'd like to see the full trailer to this or anything else that I mentioned today, all links are in the description below. And this show is expected to start airing in July 11. Now I've got the trailer for the upcoming series En Musubi no Yoko-chan. There's literally no information on this show, so I'll just stop here since probably nobody is going to watch it. But on the other hand, Toho Animation dropped a pretty cool trailer for Hoseki no Kuni, aka Land of the Lustrous, and the premise is pretty interesting. These creations called Hoseki, or gems, are born to fight a Tsukijin, and the Tsukijin wants to capture the Hoseki to turn them into decorations, and each Hoseki is assigned a role. So it's like these 28 Hoseki are on a raid to beat the Tsukijin raid boss. My only issue with the trailer is that it wasn't CG, so maybe I'll be able to get over it if the story's good enough. Alright, now moving on to the announcements. And I don't know how to feel about this first one, so yesterday it was the 24th and final episode of the new Berserk series. But just as we thought the horror was over, they come out of nowhere and flash us an end card saying that the story will continue. Like, what? <laughs> so I don't know if this means that a season 3 is coming soon or what, but they just need to take a minute to listen to their fans and maybe hand off the torch to a different studio. Also in the news, the Gainax film Uru in Blue finally began production. And in case you didn't know why this was a big deal, the film has been in the plan since 1992, but after multiple suspensions and revivals, it finally started production. So this is pretty much a 25 year project and counting. The upcoming shows Isekai wa Smartphone and Barume Yokoso got these visuals. And finally, Yuru Camp Delta got scheduled for a winter 2018 release. Now moving on to the new section, if you're an otaku that's been wanting to live in Japan and also have a passion for the anime industry, or any high skilled individual in general, Japan is offering a points based preferential immigration treatment for highly skilled foreign professionals. And that includes everything that has to do with the anime industry. So I thought it was pretty cool that Japan was opening their doors to a more diverse workforce. And if you want to learn more about this program then the link to that is in the description, so definitely go check it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's episode of Annie News. This was my sixth upload in a row, so I'm going to take a short break to work on a series of videos for when I leave to Anime Expo, just so that you guys have something to watch while I'm gone. But as always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this type of anime content, then you already know what to do. So until next time, ciao.